Okay, so let's talk about the newest episode of Atlanta, The Goof Who Sat By The Door. So this is the eighth episode of season four. We're getting close to the end of season four, by the way. And I'm kind of feeling away a little bittersweet and all of this because it has just proven, after, especially after this episode, in my opinion, that Atlanta is one of the best shows out there. So it's kind of bittersweet to come see it to an end. But they know that they have to end it on a high. And I do appreciate when shows do that and they don't try to drag it out for the sake of dragging it out. And so we're going to talk about this. But before we get any further, we are running a giveaway so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell all you have to do is be subscribed by october 29th comment below you want to enter the giveaway and you will be entered and then we will have the drawing on october 31st so we'll have a live and everything halloween all of that and then we'll announce the winners but let's talk about this episode which i thought was one of the best episodes in tv in a while honestly because this was very much so different from the storyline of atlanta but i feel like it's still going to connect in a way of sorts but it very much so was a documentary a faux documentary and basically followed the life of Thomas Washington who came in wanting to be an artist and was an artist for Disney and all of this and eventually through some mess up from the top he became CEO and was the first black CEO of Disney and eventually led him to pretty much want to do things differently at the company and also make a sort of more black oriented movie than there has ever been before and he decided to do this with Goofy and it kind of explores the whole way that Goofy even came up to be in Disney and everything and not really a character that was made just to be a character in itself but sort of to be a caricature of black people and stuff like that and this is something that you can actually look into that was definitely a thing about Goofy and how he was created in that aspect but sort of this person Thomas Washington wanted to turn that around as well and it sort of talks about the media perception as well that was happening um, with black people during the time as well where there was these stories that were not really being told by a black um, voice and it was sort of the white executives at the top and everybody there that was sort of making these pitches and everything for what the story should be and so this story basically followed Thomas Washington as he became CEO of Disney during this time in the 90s when they were trying to sort of have this diversity thing they were saying and this sort of is in a way with especially with the title Spook Who Sat By The Door which follows a like kind of like story where the CIA gets this like black person and it sort of is a way for them to be like hey we did it we ended racism we have somebody here who is not white and they are now the way we end racism you know and we see this still a lot today with a lot of companies who go out of their way to just sort of hire maybe one or two uh persons of color and that's the way that they sort of see it as we're done racism's over so we don't have to do anything else and at that time in the uh, documentary um, they pretty much saw them using uh, Thomas Washington as a pawn a token of sorts for them to say like hey we're all good here there's no racism at Disney because we have this uh, black person leading us right here but they were sort of at the end of the day not really letting him do what he wanted to do with the story of a goofy movie which is pretty much what we follow here and of course a goofy movie being a real uh, movie that has been pretty much um, a big staple nowadays and one that people go back and look at as being an important like piece of uh, film that a lot of people resonate with and so in the story the documentary that we were watching here from Atlanta it was sort of implied that Thomas Washington wanted to have a more nuanced uh, black like viewpoint in the movie not something that was sort of like pushed by the media and all of this giving examples of them not really portraying like a black family or this like um way like it was all just stereotypes that were sort of presented at this time and thomas washington was somebody who was like we don't want to do the stereotypes no more we just want a real like black viewpoint of family and all of this to be told through this movie if that's the way we got to do it and so you see him battling all of this and eventually as the movie gets changed and all of this by the executives because of course they were just not really listening to him they just wanted him to be at the front and center so that they look good themselves they pretty much changed the movie and put in as many things as they wanted he even wanted a more like tragic ending where we see goofy get gunned down by the police and i thought that that was one of the moments we were all like 
what is about to happen because we see that then um, this man Thomas Washington goes down through a spiral of sorts as he's trying to deal with how much Disney has changed everything that he wanted to tell and eventually we see that he ends his own life apparently going into a lake of sorts everybody's saying this was not an accident this was not something we think was real um, that he did himself and we know it wasn't an accident and so his body's never found in all of that but they just go on to say that his legacy has continued on especially through the goofy movie so i thought it was a very um, funny way to talk about sort of how companies still I, like do things like this where they will get somebody that is a person of color and they will put him at the forefront and sort of all over the business and all of that but at the end of the day they're not the ones that are making the decisions and they are definitely the ones that are just there to sort of be a token of sorts and it's sort of like no we want to be at the top but we also want to not just be that like something to look at we want to make those decisions we want to give our own opinions and all of that we want more of this nuance in the media that talks about us or has us present in it and i think that that was something we definitely see here as well um i think like definitely um highlighting also the racism that was in disney in the beginning and we know this with a lot of things that disney has done like uh song of the south and also like splash mountain all of that we know that there are these um things that disney still had and still kind of promoted as well that seem racist also goofy as well being a character that was sort of in that way being represented as well in the past and it sort of became something different after the goofy movie and I think at the end of the day, this is a story about if you are somebody in this like industry and the media, whatever, and all of that, it's just about staying true to yourself once you get through that door and not really like going in line with whatever you think is what you are supposed to be and these stereotypes that the top people see you as, um, whether that's either you being um, a person of color or your um, gender or your sex and all of that it's just like pretty much like don't fall for these stereotypes you gotta push your way through it all as thomas washington did in the documentary but at the end of the day we also saw that thomas um, washington tried his best to really get things to change but the top power sort of kept that from it so i thought it was an interesting um, way to talk all about this um, situation and also very much so a season three feel with this one where we don't really see the uh, main cast of Atlanta here but at the same time I think it is definitely a way for Donald Glover to really express himself with Atlanta and all of that and how he feels about it as well and I think that this is definitely a way of him saying like I'm gonna create what I want to create and how I want to express it and I really don't care about what anybody else thinks because this is the stories I want to tell and I think it really ties in very well with the last episode about family and all of this because this was another one about family and legacy that you leave behind how do you want your kids to sort of perceive what you're um, leaving once you're gone and as well how do they continue that legacy on also so i think that both episodes really tie in well with that aspect of sort of having these um, good examples that can be passed down to future generations as well and the culture in itself as they talk about this um, at the end so overall i really enjoyed this episode very much so funny that man when he did the goofy left that that just got to me um so many things in here as well to catch on to definitely will want to watch it again and check out more of the easter eggs and all of that we even have tevin campbell in here as well which i thought was like what is going a simbad was in it was just a lot of stuff in here honestly really enjoyed it but anyways let me know your thoughts your opinions on the episode down below like i said we are running our giveaway so make sure you're subscribed hit that notification bell to know when that giveaway gets announced you have until october 29th to enter all you have to do is be subscribed and comment below that you want to enter and that's going to do it for me i'll announce the winner october 31st during a halloween live we might do a watch party i don't know but we'll stay tuned for that but anyways as always i'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive